I definitely live for freedom. I, I mean, I think freedom is a beautiful thing for so many different reasons. I've, I've definitely learned that um, God is so capable of doing so many things. I mean, I've seen like, I've seen people that are like cancer free now that we never thought they would recover. I've seen marriages restored that I never knew if they were going to recover from what they went through. Um, but a lot of my, a lot of my hope, all of my hope has come from the freedom that I will ultimately have in heaven. Mm -hmm. And I know that it's incomparable to the freedom I'll experience on this earth. You know, um, I think about my grandfather who, I mean, I get it like old people, like when they get to a certain age, you don't always, you don't live forever. But I think about my grandfather and how, um, it was really like my dad is a third generation pastor and I was if I was a boy, I would have been named after my dad. So, like, I have a very, like, emotional connection to, like, my dad and my grandfather and my great-grandfather. And my great-grandfather passed away. So he didn't get to meet my husband. He's not going to meet uh, my child. And when oftentimes when, it, when I talk about my story and having been diagnosed with anxiety and all these things, people talk about healing and how it's going to give me exact freedom because God gives us everything we pray for. Um, but I, when I think about my grandfather, I'm like, well, I don't think God's going to bring him back from the dead. He's capable of it, obviously, Lazarus and a bunch of other people, Jesus. Mm -hmm. But God doesn't always answer. In my story, I've learned that God doesn't always answer every prayer exactly how I ask. That heaven is where I'll experience the ultimate freedom of all of what God could do. Because if I experienced it all here on this earth, then I would have nothing to look forward to in heaven. Mm -hmm. And so part of my journey has been learning to understand that there are going to be things in my life that God is not gonna fix in the way that I would interpret. He's going to fix them, but he's not in the way that I would interpret. Um, and one of those has been, he's not gonna be my grandfather back. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will have Tourette syndrome until I'm 30. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll have it till I'm 90. Maybe I'll have it till I'm in heaven. Mm -hmm. um, but what I've learned um, from studying the word of God and from just this, this journey that God has brought me on is that my weeping may last for a night, but my joy is going to come in the morning. And so while some people do experience complete freedom from anxiety and depression, um, coping has been what God has given me. Because if I didn't learn how to cope, I would have taken my life five, six, seven, uh, tried at least five, six, seven times by now. So I know that it can seem unhealthy to encourage women to learn to cope, but I know that God has graced me enough to learn to cope. Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.